Tomorrow morning, Roku will be officially launching the uh, new Roku Channel Store, and uh, we got a sneak peek at it, so I want to walk you through it. Okay, and uh, in this new Channel Store button, uh, this should be available um, to everyone within two weeks. But if you want to get it early, um, probably starting tomorrow morning, you can go to uh, Player Settings and Player Info and uh, check for updates. Okay. Um, Basically, a channel store works like the rest of Roku. You've got a menu bar across the top, and let's take a look at what's new. Uh, Mobile Tribe gives you access to uh, social media, um, Facebook, etc. cetera. Uh, Flickr, I have an account at Flickr for hacking Netflix and personal account as well, and this would be a great way to view the photos, uh, accessing directly on the TV. Uh, Twit, uh, Leo Laporte said in the press release that he added a video channel partly because of the Roku player. And it's a pretty sizable market. There's an estimated 300 to 400,000 Roku players out there. Uh, Motionbox lets you watch your own videos online. Revision 3 is uh, from the guys that started Dig, uh, includes Stignation. Okay. Blip TV is uh, web content. Okay, Pandora is the internet radio station. Uh, I'll go into a couple of these. Mediafly is um, uh, podcasts, etc. Okay, Frame Channel lets you get snippets of information. It's uh, kind of useful. And uh, Facebook Photos. Okay, What's interesting is um, if you look at Netflix is the most popular app on the channel store, but uh, there aren't that many people there. But the top rated application is actually Pandora. Okay, so let's go look at some of the new channels. Okay, uh, One thing I want to point out is that the new channel store actually lets you delete channels as well. And uh, since I'm a soccer fan, not a baseball fan, uh, I'm going to uh, delete Major League Baseball. Okay. All right, Facebook photos. Uh, Facebook is becoming more and more an important part of our lives. And uh, you can look at your photo feed, your photos, and your friends' photos. And I just want to take a quick look at the photo feed and uh, show you what that looks like. Okay. And uh, I have a friend's photo that's really nice. And one thing that Facebook does, it's... Uh, kind of annoying is it cuts photos down to 600 pixels, so they're never going to look as good as something like Flickr. Okay, so there we go. That's my friend Joan's picture from uh, Alaska. Okay, all right. And uh, okay. next is a Frame Channel. I signed up for a Frame Channel account. This is something new for me, and it's kind of nice because uh, you know you can get different headlines. Okay, I'll scroll through a couple of these. Okay. Okay, so you can see headlines from like Time Magazine. You can configure this. There's a lot of different channels available. Okay. All right. Uh, Mediafly is kind of interesting. Uh, they have a lot of different channels that are available. Um, okay, going through. Okay. All right. In terms of business news, um, I was kind of surprised to see things like Mad Money. This is probably a good chance for us to take a look at what the video looks like. Okay. Love him or hate him, um, he's never dull. By the way, I have debugging turned on so you can sort of see I have a uh, supposedly a six megabit DSL service, and uh, this is the size of the screen. Okay. The best brand in business news now has the best business news app ever. This is CNBC's Real Time with live streaming real time quotes, breaking business news alerts, and video on demand. This is CNBC's Real Time app now on the App Store. Jim Kramer, and welcome to my world. You need Okay. All right, and you can learn how to turn on and off debugging on uh, hackingnetflix.com by just searching for it. Okay, Pandora's great. Um, I'm a relatively new user of it, but uh, it basically what it does is it lets you um, create a your own personal radio station based on someone you like. So uh, I'm like Tom Petty, so of course it plays uh, Fleetwood Mac. Okay, and you can read it right on the device, say you liked it. Okay, I'm going to actually step out of here and uh, add a new station. Okay, and okay, and I can just go over here and add a Christmas channel real quick. Okay, so basically type in the type of music you like and it tries to match it. And uh, okay. uh, Flip TV. Okay has a lot of different content. Um, I don't think any of it is really commercial content, but uh, if you're a channel surfer, this would be a lot of fun.
Okay. Because especially if you like web content. Okay. Revision three, uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, you know, the dig and uh, dig nations kind of a fun show. So um, they have a lot of different tech uh, tech shows. Here's dig nation. It's a great way to show you HD content. Um, okay, it's kind of a strange show. Mostly involves two guys sitting around drinking beer and talking about the news, but. Uh, Surprisingly interesting. Okay. And I'm connected here, uh, as you can tell. Uh, I've got about um, four megabits per second on average. Okay, it's downloading four stars. And you won't see the playback debugging, that's just I have it turned on. This week's episode of Dig Nation is brought to you by the new Ford Sync. Okay, let's get away from Ford commercial here. Go a little bit into the show, showing you forwarding. Okay. Okay, on my laptop here, babies. I know, I know. I'm sorry well, that you're well, so comfortable. Really well. Look how comfortable this oh. poor dog is. I might okay. be getting a dog. And this is Dignation. <gasps> yes. What yes. kind? Okay. Uh, a brown lab is what I'm looking at. They're... Okay. Finally, Flickr and uh, Twit. Flickr, I've had a Flickr account forever. Um, I love the photos on there. And interestingness is uh, one of the options. Hot tags, uh, your photo streams you connected to, and your sets, and your groups. Okay. But interesting, this is great because you can have some of the highest ranked photos on Flickr display on your TV, and uh, this is just absolutely great. Okay. If you ever want to have, turn your you know, high def TV into a picture frame, this is definitely the way to do it. Just some excellent photography. I probably like a little more control around how fast it, you know, goes or um, some other settings, but uh, I expect to see some more applications in the future that, uh, you know, give you more control over the applications. All right. Okay. So go back up. Okay, and finally, Twit TV. Okay, and this is part of MediaFly, so this is probably really nine channels but twit is if you're not if you haven't watched this week in tech uh it's a great show and uh here we'll just take a quick look at uh mac break weekly and again sorry about the debugging screen but i've been sort of monitoring how it performs um when I first started testing it, I had some playback issues. But it's time for Mac Break Weekly, episode 167. This week on Mac Break Weekly, the scary dancing Microsoft store. We'll take a look at the new 27-inch iMac and Black Friday rumors. Mac Break Weekly is next. Okay. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. 